everyone, I'm actually just on the 2B2T test server right now. Um, I'm using probably the worst hacked client called, ironically, Worst. Uh, and a few other odds and ends just to kind of keep in line with the rest of the player base so undoubtedly cheating as well. Um, what I've been doing is I've been setting up a few bases um, quite far out from spawn, although this is in anarchy terms, quite close to spawn actually. Uh, I'm only about, say, 22,000 out. And I put a few other, uh, this one I've now labeled, there we go, H3 stands for home three. I've got H2 there, about 10,000, 10,500 blocks away, and H1, no, I think that's spawn. One of those is H1 though. Uh, and there's uh, my first wheat farm, probably 14,000 out there. Uh, obviously, you can see blue ch chests are the ender chests, and that is very obvious when you get a double chest like that. If you get a, um, I don't think we can see any here, but if you see two chests, two green chests, a little bit apart from each other, typically that's a dungeon. So you can actually hide your chests quite, quite well if you have a base like this and have like maybe a chest here and then a chest here. And then it's unlikely people will see them. What I'm actually going to do when I leave this place is I'm going to left net a chest in here in case I ever need to come back. Uh, and then I'm going to break that one and possibly I think I'll leave those double chests there. That way people can come here. And hopefully you don't go down to my mine and grab the ender chest. I do have a few spare ender chests just in case. Uh, just store it in here. And what I'm actually doing now is just sort of gearing up and prepping to uh, head out to the end. Uh, every startup area I've got a few rudimentary farms in place. Uh, if you ever play Anarchy, just install baritone. I've got it on the fabric loader right now. Uh, farm is the correct term. This just makes it so much easier. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is taking, I think at least nine or 10 stacks of wood logs to the end. So while I'm in the end, I can convert them to planks and then uh, half slabs. And then from there, uh, probably gonna have to go close to between 50 to 100,000 blocks out to find anything worthwhile. What I really actually need is just a few shelter boxes because my inner chest is pretty full. Um, I do have almost a full stack of gunpowder and some paper um, just to make some rockets if I do get lucky enough to fly. Um, and yeah, let's just have this farming process finish up actually speed up the process but I don't need to do anything this is just sort of a yeah let's fly it up actually this is just by far the best way to farm I could just like let this running indefinitely as long as it's not night time and you've got some phantoms coming in and other mobs so the reason I've got obviously multiple bases maybe between five to 10,000 blocks apart from each other is if I somehow get killed multiple times and land up back in the spawn, um, it should be easy enough to, I've got some cars down there, uh, get myself back on my feet because I will be leaving or try to be leaving at least one ender chest at every point. So kind of, I've got a stack of membranes as well so that I can repair in the end, uh, let's see, what do I need? I need to now actually make my way back to my enchanting station, which is there, about 9,000 blocks away. Um, so I can, so I've got backup armor, which ought to be taking this into the end, not this. Um, but I need to swap out this and I'm aware this doesn't have fire enchant, and that's intentional because I don't want the Enderman to teleport away every time I try and kill them for their pearls. That 
and I've got one of these. I've actually got two more back at the skeleton farm. Um, I might swap out the pickaxes. Those can stay. I don't care if I lose those. Those are easy enough to replace. Um, beyond that, I think I'm getting close to being ready to head on to the end. Now, the end, I know where it is. It's there. So if I go to the skeleton farm, it'll be quite close to the end. Um, yesterday I ran into three players, but they were undergeared, so they did not challenge me. I could tell they were thinking about it, but obviously with my nether, I just took out my sword and they, I, and they basically didn't try anything. Uh, I think, so I want to take as much wood as possible on the way. A little bit of cobble for slabbing. I should be just about ready. Okay, let's head on out. What is this? It's a pig, okay. False alarm. So much for that. I'm actually going to try to bit off this a little bit. I'll come back to that. Really don't want this place discovered if possible. baritone is just so necessary nowadays. You can obviously play without it, but it it just makes pathing so much easier. So a few hacks I'm missing. Oh dear, what happened there? Nothing. Uh, if you could call them hacks, one is portal vision. So yeah, I don't have that. Unfortunately, worse doesn't seem to have that functionality. Um, and a player notification. The only way I can detect players easily is on the voxel map. So that plus I keep the sound on while I'm playing so that if a player comes nearby, I can hear their footsteps and I can see them on the map. just makes it so much easier to you know this is about 9,000 blocks away actually in the overworld so the fact that I can just pathfind it to it automatically
So uh, I have set the fall distance allowed to, I believe, seven blocks as opposed to the default three. And I've also prevented it from using water buckets. I mean, it won't obviously in the nether, but in the overworld it'll attempt to fall using a water bucket. But the problem with this server is uh, it seems to... It kicks you out. Uh, which was causing my game to crash on 1.16.4 but I've recently updated to 1.16.5 uh, which has stopped that from crashing as frequently it must be one of the mods, I can't really tell which oh this will be interesting, okay, oh, fair enough this is why Barrett Time is so great, it's just it just knows where to go don't have to waste time finding a path. So that was probably seven blocks. Uh, eight blocks, I think, is when I take damage. So with full nether armor and full falling four, you can go up to seven blocks without taking damage. Um, I can't quite tell if it uses, it probably uses a bit of uh, food saturation, but not as much of it as if I had to heal half a heart. Um, I did work out you can fall up to 12 blocks and only lose half a heart damage, so I nearly set it to that, but uh, it seems to be working fine with just the seven. So, portals. I have been every now and then going through a portal if I see one, just seeing what's the other side. Maybe I can, you know, being an archie, I can pinch a few things here and there. I don't like griefing people's ba bases because I think that's just a bit of a... Uh, it's not a nice thing to do to, to people. Um, and I've got enough diamonds. Look, it's easy to get diamonds in this with, with the extra hand running baritone uh, in Anarchy servers, so I don't even need to steal diamonds from people. But if they've got something I don't have, for example, I, I could really do with a shelker box. If I had a shelker box, I'd certainly take one. And we're almost there. So basically gone about a thousand blocks in the nether, 1,200 blocks in the nether. And all I've done is, oh, okay. I thought you were gonna jump, that's fine. All I've done is uh, eaten three times. Beyond that. Where, where are we? I think we've overshot it slightly. jump down. I don't want to use up an ender pearl either. It's not too bad. Is this the right place? I have an idea it's not. Which means we need to rename this. No, this is the right place. Interesting. Fair enough. Hmm. 
gonna reset my bed to here quick. It's tempting to actually move it a little bit further away around the corner. station is still here and we will soon see what else is here and I've got a few more backup tools here <laughs> okay so no one has touched this place this is the AFK spot I'm about yeah just within range of the spawner. Got a bubble column and uh, I'll come down here. So I'm just going to enchant a couple of pickaxes and a sword and then I'm ready to go to the end. <laughs> 